Dungeon Doom Hands. Let's there. talk lore. That's, and that's when uh, that's when we left the the castle, um, Naglin's castle. Yeah, well, Naglin's yeah, Naglin could show up too. All right, so uh, we we just spent a time period talking about Elder Brains. Uh, we created an NPC for this um, encounter or battle, essentially, or uh, that we're going to be ha- we're going to be playing on Monday, mm-hmm. next Monday. Yeah. Um, roll high and subscribe if you um, are just joining us now um hit that button wherever so i think it's over here uh, anyway so we're going to build an encounter together so the encounter where we left off was there is a ceramorph um elder brain dragon mm-hmm. um you guys are on your way there's a, a there's a time portal that you guys are trying to get to you have the blue skull that you came back in time to steal during mm-hmm. our epic time heist there yes. are two mind flare colonies attacking each other. That's yes. It. Okay. But there's one that's there and the other one that's attacking right. it. We'll have like an upper hand on knowing the area and surroundings yeah. and maybe playing a little bit of, of the crystal magic crystal game. Maybe they have mm-hmm. maybe they have a little bit of more equipment. But the vessel colony is attacking. They want to get the blue skull because they think it is going to prove that the world is flat. I love it. I love it. Um, so that's their goal. Their their elder brain mm-hmm. is trying to convince the, the Shrezel elder brain is trying to convince the uh, vessel elder brain that the world is flat. That's, and he thinks that the blue skull will help goal. him do it. That's yeah. the whole colony goal. Every now and then, because. Jake is a uh, Ceramorph uh, from the Shrezel after he rolled that. I'm going to have him uh, just be, he's going to try to convince the group every now and then that the world's flat. It's going to be hilarious. <laughs> that's what, but that's not what we're talking about. I got derailed. Um, encounter wise. So what were you thinking? There's, there's we're, two of them, but I don't know how to run that. That's, well, that's we're, the, the encounter that we're coming to is we have 15 minutes to get from where we are right. to a portal. In between us is the Elder Brain Dragon that we ran from. I know you said some Mind Flayers were there. You guys are 15 minutes away from the portal. Yes. You need guys need to go get back to the portal. It's, it's noon, and we have 15 minutes to get back to the portal, and we have to get back there before 8.32 p.m. Yeah. So we have eight hours, eight and a half hours to get back. And so you're saying there's two Mind Flayers, so you could have it be where... We come around and we see, well, we you already had it, so we see the one and some of the other mind flares around. But like what we talked about before is some of those mind flares might be controlled by the other elder brain. So one way you could do it, you could have like a first round of like them being their normal characters and the second round you roll to see who they're gonna fight for. Like some of them turn on themselves and they Right. So and then they maybe, um, round two, they get attacked from some hidden tunnel since the Vessel Colony knows the surroundings. So, they can come out of, like, some secret area. Yes. So the way I had, I had it was, and I'm not sure if the lore came through in the last lore drop about the Mind Flayers, but the way that it was supposed to run was you guys came across the Vessel Colony Gray <laughs> Elder Brain who was a descendant from the Vessel Colony. Um, And if you were to have a family tree, the Vessel Colony is the uh, parent of both the Vessel Colony and the Alpha Colony. Strezzle and Alpha. Um, So the Vessel Colony Elder Brain, and we don't have to get too much into the lore, Mm. but uh, broke off from its its ancestry and became its own thing uh, with peace in mind. Um, and the Alpha Colony was going to be its new its new colony. But they got killed because of this invasion that's happening right now. So, in the grand scheme of things, right now, in the oh. world that I... The Alpha Colony... That's why it's called the Alpha Ruins. Um, not the Vessel Ruins. ruins um, of Strata. Oh, okay, so the, now I understand. So the Vessel Colony was, was originally all of them together. Mm-hmm. And then... Lumerthrick, the head of the Vessel Colony, was going to try and break away from some of the others because he was feeling peaceful. a fight in there and he wanted peace and he didn't want to fight them for the right. peace. 
So he left and was trying to find his peace here and form the Alpha Colony as a, a, a place of peace. On a let him go. So their place of peace is on a round world. I don't think they're related. I think the Vessel Colony started to be peaceful towards the gnomes of the town and realized okay. that it would it, it could maintain and grow its colony by being nice and trading and supportive of the gnomes mm -hmm. and the gnomes in turn would offer up some offspring and and some elders to the mind flare colony for transition and they each uh benefited from each other right the so i think you're going to have some gnomes in this fight too originally the shrezzle colony and the and the vessel colony were together Someone in the vessel colony overheard that the earth was flat and somehow through transformation into an elder brain of some kind, it decided that its own, its only goal was to spread that word. The vessel colony being peaceful has nothing to do with it. So they're in a, they're in a peaceful uh, uh, town living harmoniously yeah. and all of a sudden a random Just some mind flare uh, colony shows up uh, and they're blue and they're like, the earth is flat. The earth is flat. It just starts taking over, looking for the blue skull that you guys have. The earth is flat. I'm going to write that down. The earth is flat. In the mind flare and elder brain, I do remember that like certain species don't take to the transformation yes. so easily. So what it could be mm. is that after they broke away, or the the other people who didn't want to be peaceful kept fighting and killing people and then they tried to take over a sky dwarf wow and maybe dwar dwarfs can't become mind players in our world and they tried to take over a sky dwarf and sort of had a um brain or had sort of like a, a seizure or a had an issue that went all the way back to the elder brain and now all they care about is their world's flat I love the fact that the, the world flat is, is going to be on in the sky and in the ground. The um, encounter, though. Yeah, so I, I think the you're going to have... going to be to tell everyone and convince everyone that the Earth is flat, as well yeah. as obviously procreate and uh, spread its yeah. colony. And the goal of the Grey is going to be to maintain peace with the uh, with their, their town. Um, so they would do protect the Elder Brain and protect uh, the Gnomes, I think. Is what they I think some of them will fight in, in this fight. Benefit. That's how we'll do the benefit. That, that's how we'll give it for the area. Yeah. Is the no? Is through the nobs. Mm -hmm. You remember, yeah. there's gonna be a lot. There's gonna be a lot of characters and a lot. There, you know, you're gonna have ten. You're gonna have a screen where there's ten mind flares going up against ten mind flares, and then you're gonna have another turn for the gnomes. I'm not rolling all that math, no. and I'm not no. doing it on a on a on Google either. Roll do sides. And you don't even have to do like a true fight on that, so you can have each round like if they're going to be fighting each other you guys are going to have you, a hard time i want to make it but you want to, you want to make it an obstacle course for us to have right, to get through right i want that short mile to feel 15 minutes i want to feel make it feel like three hours because that's pretty yeah. good we're going to do two and a half hours of gameplay maybe two hours of gameplay those 15 yeah. minutes are going to be unless you guys go back and which clear through the portal or, or, or not so if What's coming to my mind is an image of a movie of like someone in a battle and they're like running through this battle. It's Game of Thrones, where like uh, Arya Stark is walking through the, the um, city while explosions are going off all around or crazy stuff's happening. So you could have your fight going off in the background and not necessarily them targeting us. Uh, or maybe targeting only the person with the blue skull. Um, and that makes us have to pass it around or something. But you can have a bunch of random, not necessarily puzzles, but like things that are happening around. Like, all right, there's a random mind blast in this area. So someone may get stunned. There's a random, like yeah. all the abilities that the mind flayers have. You're like, okay, we're going to have three of these go off this round. Right. And then so they're going to be, be, let's place these random places. I'm going to have mind flares fighting mind flares and mm -hmm. you guys have 15 minutes to get to the portal 
but I'm going to have 10 Mind Flayers, and they are going to, on a roll, all of them do a Mind Blast. And it recharges every five turns. And those minutes will add up. Because if, if 10 of them shoot a Mind Blast at an area, it's going to do a significant amount of damage. But mm-hmm. um, it'll, it's also going to stun you for multiple minutes. Yeah. So maybe maybe I'll work with time in there. And, and they're both going to be doing that. Both sides are going to be doing that. Well, I think if you have 10 people, roll a d10, that many Mind Blasts go out. Yeah. All right, however many that is, okay, That's subtract that minutes. from your number. Next round, roll a D whatever, however yes. many are left. That's how many of my blasts go off. And then you have your countdown at yeah. at 10 or at 50 or whatever, five minutes, they all reset. Slowly throw them out there over time. So we're going to do, it's going to be a time sequence. That'll be the, you know how... Uh, I don't know if I spoke with you. Actually, did I speak with you about this? About uh, running encounters for for Dungeons and Dragons? It's like uh, creating a reason to do what, what the hell is it called? Player, uh, not player engagement, but it's like you know. Now you have a time. There's a specific time period in which you're there. Yeah, so it's very creating easy. urgency. Player urgency. That's the word. That's yeah. my dysnomia in full effect right there, guys. Player urgency. So time um, is huge. And what's funny about this is that this is our ninth session in the time heist. And it doesn't feel, it, to me, it doesn't feel like that. Because um, the player urgency has been like, there's always been a, like. Yeah, we have something that we have to do yes. at, at this time. So we have to right. hurry what we're doing to get there. So I'm going to cap it. Well, so I'm going to tell you right now, I'm going to give you a hint. We are going to sprint as fast as we can to that portal trying to avoid as much as we can. Right. So this fight is, it's not going to be just like clustered in one area. It's going to be a long drawn no, they, out. They, so they can float. It's not like you can't yeah. just like run and dive. It's yeah. all over the place. There's a three dimensional craziness going on. Um, I can't wait for that. Uh, Mind based. And they also have spell, spell casting size. So I got to do mm-hmm. some, I'm going to do a, a roll. I'm just going to create oh, just one. So- one and one for spell casting. I don't really don't ever play with a person with um, with spell uh, spell stuff. I'm Marshall. And here's what you can do for so you say you have 20 total mind flares, yeah. 10 and 10. Each round roll a d4. That's how many from one side go to the other. Oh wow. Or roll a d6, and if it's an odd, it's they go from the blue to the gray, and if it's even, they go from the gray to the blue. What and it if, swaps every time. And then what if uh, I'm interested to see because you know this could turn out that like your your small little interaction in this town causes the uh, alpha mind flare to survive. When we go back to the to the future, I am completely comfortable and fully prepared to weave into our story. The fact that the Alpha Colony is there, and may, and and if you guys get there, then I mean, you have to get there with the Blue Skull. Essentially, yeah. If you get there, you're going to have the Blue Skull. Well, if they survive, we're probably going to have the Blue Skull. But if they convince the other side that the Earth is flat, you guys are fucked. You guys are fucked. So I'm going to have a roll. And I'm going to have one person roll each time. Because, like, the, the Elder Brain, the Blue Elder Brain, only wants to convince. His only goal, other than mm-hmm. not dying, is to convince the other Elder Brain that he is wrong and that the Earth is flat. So you're going to need a perception, or not a persuasion. Persuasion against insight. Right. Well, you can do, like, easy. every five-minute round that you're going to do, 100. If, if we get a hundred, he convinces them. Or if we get above a ninety, they convince them or something. Maybe it will lower it every t- every five. every time. Go down by five. If it's Go down by five. Above, Ninety-five or above. Yeah, and then ninety or above. <laughs> a- Eighty-five or above is fifteen minutes. Yeah, that'd be three rolls. Okay. So, and we're going to be racing to get there yes. in that as fast as we can. Yeah. So we're talking three to four rolls most, maybe. And it is a full-on battle, so that's a. That's okay. a small chance to, for him to convince him. We okay. get him to be like, the world is flat now. And he's like, arrest them. And then you roll to convince him? That would be very funny. Mm-hmm. 
Uh, okay, so you're gonna have we're gonna have this war going on essentially, um, but there isn't that I'm not I'm gonna try my hardest to not make it a combat. Sort of like a, a skill challenge through another fight. Yes, you can certainly interact. Their number one goal is to convince the, the gray elder brain that the world is flat. They do think that having the blue skull would help. Well, help. Yeah, but it's not like a requirement for them. And the okay. dragon knows you have the blue skull. Yes. That's the only person. Well, knows that. knows that Aranus or Ignis have the and, blue skull. Uh, does the elder brain then know? Because if he fails his right his uh, save on that, don't think the elder brain would come to this, knowing that the blue elder brain. We'll just no. think about it. Though. Not 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 with the, not while the fight is going on. And I don't think he'd jump in when the fight is going on. The gray skull. I mean the, the blue yeah. skull. Yeah. Um, and there's an elder brain there, but he can still try yeah. to convince him. Oh yeah. I'll have him show up and he'll plane shift. So I gotta build the um I can't wait to just have a screen with two brains on it. I'm gonna cut to it every now and then. Roll cut to one. it for the roll. I do also like the idea of cutting away, and this is just gonna now this'll be a little addition that I think might cut the combat and make it a little bit uh faster paced. Mm-hmm. If we were to cut to the two brains and you guys need to debate who one team, maybe two oh. of you, two of you are blue, two of you are gray. Here's what you can do, or, and, and not just two, just based on each that, time you each time you cut there, ro- rollies whoever's highest gets their choice of blue or gray. Whoever's lowest gets the other, and they have to yeah. convince each other. And then that can sway the outcome of the next. And at the end of that, we do the D100 to see if they're convinced. Okay. Arguments. You the can. Highest, the highest their partner is yeah. their partner in the debate. Yeah. Um, I like it. But it can change every every time. That's why it's like, yeah. Yeah. Make it make a roll to see who gets it. Yeah. Okay. And then when you win the debate, the benefits are. I think losing the debate, there will be a, a consequence of some kind. And it may be... What should that consequence be? The consequence is you're stunned. Well, like, what's the main thing happening around in that fight? Mind blast blasting all over the place. The penalty is you got caught in a mind blast. but or Because they're, they might, they're probably going to be stacking up. Yeah, that's true. So having someone stunned, it's going to immediately force us to stop our movement to try and figure out what's going on with them either try and pick him up and carry him which is going to slow us down or shake him out of it or cast a spell or do something and it's two people we're doing that so it's half the group so if, if we just try and drag him we're half speed for the minute or however, however long yeah um, but you guys are close to it so maybe it wouldn't be maybe the, maybe whoever wins the round the, the round the loser, no, the lo- uh, loser takes damage. Loser takes the damage. Loser takes the damage from the um, loser gets to split the damage between the two the two teams of the of the huge the, the bigger mind blast or whatever. You can't do that because it's like look at this. It's 22, 22 uh, psychic. Yeah, so twenty two d whatever something. Yeah, it's stupid. Um, well, it's. The other thing is you don't want to... It has to be a benefit, because if you do a penalty, then coming out of it is going to be a penalty for everyone, both sides, whether you win or lose. So if we if they're stunned, the people who win are going to have to deal with the other people. So I think a penalty isn't a great in- incentive to try and win, because once you come out, you're still going to have to help the people who are penalized anyway. Break. We'll just have the helmet break, because... the. And if you happen to roll high and win every time, then you still keep your helmet. I like that. Because um, we, we've been protected this whole time. Or your helmet falls off or something. That's awesome. Okay, so... Helmet, and then if you helmet. lose a second time, whatever. Yeah. I mean, you guys are going to take... You know, I'm pro- I'll probably do the Mind Blast every turn. Because it's not directly targeting you, but you're mm-hmm. going to be in it. Um, you'll do, like... 
you know, half. No, we could do we could do the roll. We yeah. can do the the save and. It'll be it'll be less than twenty two. Oh. Of course, and maybe it's going to be like eight. You're going to take eight damage. Everyone takes eight damage for. Yeah. You know, being prone. Well, and the other thing that you could do is um, how you're figuring out who gets flopped to the other side of mind flayers. Whoever wins the debate, they get the more mind flayers. Oh wow! They have so. It, oh wow! So Shrezel, Shrezel Colony has advanced. The the different colony that won the debate has uh, an advantage on their rolls. Wow. Let let it be about the battle, not about the players. Okay. I like that. Okay. So, what if we we also put up uh, a boundary where let's just say like you have your debate. And you won five in a row. You won mm-hmm. five points. They all become. Well, say if say uh, we win the first debate, and uh, Gray is going to get more people, more mind flyers over. Roll your D D whatever that many go over. So you have say thirteen Grays and seven Blues. Gray wins next time. Roll your D four. They get three more. So you have sixteen Grays against four Blues. And then blue wins next time. Roll your D six. That they're trying to get to. Trying, they're trying to get to twenty. I think if they get all of them, yeah. Because if your mind, if your um, elder brain, yeah, is so strong that you've gained the control of all the other mind flares there, yeah. I think that's the goal it's is the, to try. Yeah, because once they once they realize that the Earth is flat, then they then they uh, start believing that that's the the goal of of their mm-hmm. being. It's just, yeah. yeah. So, but what's the number? So you're gonna have ten of each, and then if you have ten of each, and your goal is twenty, say that the number that swaps is a D four every time. To stretch it out a little. So the debate happens. Whoever wins, roll that D four. You add that many to that side, subtract that many from the other. Yes. Okay. Are you, do you think a D four or D six? Well, I mean, because a D six it could be over in two. Two sessions, two yeah, rounds. Okay. You're right. A D4, you're at least guaranteed three. If you win every single time and you roll max, it'll take you three three debates to get there. You don't want it to be done in two. And ideally, you want it to keep going the whole time, going back and forth. So a couple at a, a clip. Now, I'm going to be the judge, though, of, of who, yeah. who wins. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to set up my own table. Yeah. And it's going to have a check marks on it. And if mm-hmm. each team, and I'll describe this to them, if each team hit that chord, you get a check during your, yeah. you know, if you don't, that's it. I will then reveal the score sheet after the session. But yeah. I, I'm not going to tell you, like, okay, mentions a color and says yeah. space. It'll be something. Cooler than that, yeah. but right. know your know your DM. Oh, so you're gonna basically have your bingo board. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> nice, I, I love it. Either I, I don't want to play your debate I, bingo. I mean, like I mean, again, when you run a elder brain, and I think this is this is like a little summary uh, space for the elder brain, and, and I think for other larger all-knowing creatures, the less detail in the like power or like the yes the elder brain knows everything and he, he you know thinks he's the smartest person does he know everything no um but he doesn't need to know everything and i guess what, I, what i'm trying to say i'm getting tongue twisted is that the way that i'm going to run the shrezzle is how i would recommend running um all-knowing creatures and i wish i had done that a little bit with the kraken i did it a little bit with the kraken um because to me i thought the kraken was the closest you're going to be to a god without being a god and he only Mm -hmm. wanted items so his whole idea his whole goal was to just get the most powerful items you could get to probably push to push him over the the line to becoming a god um which never really worked but for the elder brain um I think that that sort of simple, it, the word was simple, simple goal um, mm-hmm. of convincing people that the earth is flat is perfect. Yep. You don't, it doesn't need to be more than that. You don't need to have like a big colony. There's millions of people and all they have their own stories. They want to convince, they're like a cult that wants to convince the people that the world is flat. Yep. And if they mm-hmm. are flat earthers, um, they have advantage in their city 
while they do their shopping and, and whatnot. They can have one of those pistols. I think that's awesome. I was way overthinking it. I was yeah. way overthinking stuff. Like today, I was like, damn, how am I going to voice and... Uh, well, we could do voice real quick for Phil and Elder Brain, but I was like, how, how am I going to do all this stuff? I think the Elder Brain voice, it, it speaks a language that no one knows. Except King Lolo Lolo. Right. King Lolo Lolo. But wait, what, what, how do, what do they... they, uh, they what, do, what do they sound like? The Elder Brains, I think they... Can they communicate to... They can communicate images and stuff to 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 people, right? To telepathically, I would yeah. think so. That you, like they, they could speak common. They, they, can, they can communicate well enough to paint a picture in your mind. Yeah. An elder brain has that amount of control telepathically, I would think. Okay, yeah, and again, like role playing and voicing, simpler. You don't, you don't need the elder brain. It's one simple goal, which is to spread the word and convince people that the Earth is flat. The Earth um, is flat. You're gonna ask him a question about the day or whatever. He's gonna answer like, "Yes, no, the Earth is flat." Uh, that might be it. But he might, you know, if he doesn't know, his response is gonna be, "The Earth is flat." Like you know, you know, script. That's it. That's so yeah. cool. I'm excited. So this, I'm excited for this this encounter, this, this battle, because it's crazy. We're we're walking into a war zone. So let's just see real quick. Blue and gray. Uh, yeah. Pick up your D4. You have a D4? Yep, I have a D4 uh, right here. Bait and, and blue one. Roll me a D4. Okay. That's a three. So blue one, and that's so let's see. And then here, I'm going to do win or lose. Uh, evens, um, odds, it's uh, blue wins, and evens, it's uh, gray wins. It's an odd. So blue one again. Roll me a D4. A one. It's an even. even. Oh, shit, that fell. That's a four. That's all four back. Yeah. Be, this is what I'm saying. So it could be two. Yeah, yeah well, Great. ideally you want to. Yeah. So I feel ideally like, it, it hovers around that area, but yeah. it can sway yeah. one way quickly. The bait thing, so it's not a random chance of what side's going to get more. Yes, that's funny. I like that. So the the last question I have, I guess, is so you're going to have the mind flares, and they're going to be shooting um, mind blasts. So everyone's so, sort of going to have to roll for movement uh for mm -hmm. movement so that's what i have to get down so roll for movement well no they're gonna move then you're gonna get mind blasted well Everyone. i think i think we're gonna have everyone's gonna have them turn. Well, no, i don't think we're gonna need from the way you're running i don't think you need a turn like an actual combat turn order yeah running it i think run it in no sections yeah, no initiative, but run it in, or maybe initiative just for us, of like when we're telling you what we're doing, just so it's right. orderly. But five minute blocks. So you're talking like first five minutes, roll how many mind blasts go off. Then we have the debate, and you roll how many swap. But before and after we do that, because then you have that whole five minutes concluded then we t or before that we tell you what we're going to do or say they they do their mind blast we tell you what we're going to be doing for that five minutes we do our roles then we have the debate and then it progresses five minutes so of like oh we're going to try and hide all right so for five minutes we're hiding so we roll our stealth roll deception or whatever else we're doing cast our spells we have a little bit of flexibility with the time of what we're trying to do but it's like that's a five minute window of what we're doing. So we're gonna roll for we're gonna roll for uh And if we say we're just gonna sprint straight for the thing, all right, you're gonna get hit with five mind blasts. Right. So, if you're gonna hide and dodge or protect yourself, all right, your your distance that you can run might not be as far. See. So say you have a fifteen minute run, say you only ran three minutes of that, of your normal five that you would be able to get to because you were cautious. So it's going to delay how long we go. Area up into zones. Uh, I might make it a little bit longer than... I just might change the unit at which you can travel. Right. Uh, I think that makes it easiest with like less specific role. Like yeah, being I very can, strict you on roles. your initiative. Yeah. And it'll be a gray, blue, you guys, uh, and then... Mind flayers. It's like there's only three people. So it's gray... 
Gray Mind well, no, Flare, I think Blue Mind. if you have it, your Grave Mind Flare, Blue Mind Flare, then all of us, and then you have your cut to the debate. Yes. And then after the debate, we come back to Gray Blue, and that's when you already have your swap of who's going to what side after the debate. And then we run through that again. I like that. So, so we're gonna roll initiative at the very beginning. I'm gonna roll mm-hmm. two for. I'm gonna. You guys are gonna roll one, essentially, and whatever one you get on the, the D4 is your number. Yeah. And then I'll do yeah. the same thing. Whatever. Um, yeah. No, we'll just let's roll the twos. Whatever. So you're gonna have gray, blue uh, uh, players, and then cutscene. Yeah. What if when we come back, once we go through the order, we re-roll that initiative again? Um, that way you might have back-to-back cutscenes. No, I don't think you do too much. You the initiative. Leave, you leave the, you leave the I think you I leave the initiative. The cut the cutscene's always at the end. Cutscene round. Yeah. Uh, initiative zero, cutscene to the debate. <laughs> and the debate we have to have a strict time on that because that thing will run for a long. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well you you you're a timekeeper. Alright, one minute to this side, one minute to that side. Done. One minute to this side, one minute to that side. Done. One minute is a long time. But well, you got two people who are going to be talking. But, like, in that debate, so, so, so maybe the whole debate takes, each round takes eight, eight to ten minutes. So you'll have, your, you'll have the gray guys go, the blue guys go, and then the team will go. That's going to yeah. be normal order, normal, normal happenstance in an encounter. Then you're going to have a cutscene. The cutscene is going to take how much well, time? Say, well, then do, actually do two, you don't need... Two rounds. Do uh, initial. Let's do just like a debate. Initial argument to one side. Rollies who goes first. They get one minute. What the next people is, get two minutes. The third person gets one I minute response, much, and then how you're done. Much character player character time is spent during In that the fourth session debate. That because you got eight, eight hours. So if you want to chisel away at some of that, maybe. No, I, I think that that time is. The time spent in that debate is separate from the time spent of us traversing for the war. I mean, I think you can have stuff where it adds in buffer time of like, if we both suck at our arguments saying, all right, you both fail. There was an extra roll of D6. How many more minutes that you're going to have to take to get to the portal or something? Maybe we'll put uh, maybe for every minute that the debate takes, um, it's a certain amount of time in the game because you guys get eight hours. It's long, I and mean, you're gonna get blasted by. Well, uh, the fact that we have eight hours is all because we rushed right. to have as much right. time as we could to get yes. out. So that's that's a outcome of all the past sessions. I don't think pen- penalizing. That's true. I mean, you could have it. No, however many have, minutes we're debating, that many more mind fine. flayers come. Pages. I actually like that. Put, put your stopwatch on there, and uh, however many minutes we take during that debate, that's how many mind flares get added to each side. No, I like the, I like the rolling. I like the roll. Thing. Yeah. That's yeah. so much better. Yeah, you're right. Well, yeah, yeah just have it, have it be included. Guys, but because you guys ran through, you're already penalized. You guys don't have oh, yeah. a, uh, a long rest. So you guys mm-hmm. are there, and it's about to die. So <laughs> there's a lot of that. So um, the penalization of losing so you're gonna have you're gonna roll and the other side is gonna get um whoever win, whatever team wins that colony side is gonna get m- or more from mind flares from the other side they reach 20 mind flares the war's over and something happens like the blue is gonna come after you or, that's uh, for you to figure out right. i don't want to know that's its, own, that's its own thing that's your homework on that final one, loses their he- their helmet, and now the helmet right now is every debate. Whoever loses, you lose your helmet. Yeah, if you still have it. Yes. Yeah. But you, you the power to the helmet. Not, yeah. And then the next time you can gain it back, right? If you win, you gain. No, I'd say if once it's gone, it's gone because we don't need them anymore after here. I mean, it's it's a helmet protecting us from influence of the mind flares but say well maybe after that it's a a roll each time to see if we get controlled come up with a number what i'm going to do is on the mind blasts you guys are going to take four damage and then if without a helmet maybe you'll take eight or what's the roll for that mind blast 
Is it a save? Uh, area must exceed a DC 15. Oh, so maybe you do disadvantage. Yeah, disadvantage on the roll. Or if you have the helmet, you have advantage on the roll. And if you don't have the helmet, it's just a normal. 22. You do that. 22 is a lot. It halved is 11. You, just because you get mind, you get mind blasted. Ten. The it's, damage, it's still only one damage, yeah. Because you're only getting hit but the by one of them. That's gonna be yeah. funny because every turn you're essentially looking at almost uh, almost twenty minutes. So that's the time. That's a time emergency right there. You guys are gonna get mind blasted by at least twenty different mind flares every turn. We only need to make one roll though, right? Well. If you succeed, you take half and you don't get stunned. So hopefully, if you succeed, you take half. Yeah, and you don't. You're not stunned. If you fail, you take all and you're stunned. Area must succeed in intelligence saving throw or take 22 psychic damage and be stunned. Yeah, you're right. So disadvantage. Instead of going disadvantage, you have the helmet. It's advantage. I. You lose the helmet. It's normal because that's what it normally is anyway. All right. Before we. Before we end this this one, we'll do a quick. This was good. I really, really like this one because this is going to be a funny um, encounter that people can actually watch play. This is going to be really good. Um, very home brewed, by the way. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's just really quickly look at some HP of this group right now. Oh, it's terrible. Yeah, I, I can tell you right now, it's awful. Well, my HP is not Let's good. See. We got Butterbot. Um, yeah, and he can heal people. Thanks. Aaron, Aaron has 59. Uh, yeah, all right. So I'm going right. to. I just healed Aaron up a crap ton. Stag and Butterbot. Because uh, Ignis and Aaron is, should have at least 40 each. Because we healed yeah, them up yeah, to. About that. Yeah, well. Yeah, because I'm. Because I. Hide in the back because I'm. Yeah. I was a tank for three characters. I'm not a tank anymore. Now let me ask you something. One last thing. Sprock uh, is a Shrezzle Colony Mind Flare. I, there has to be something special for him in this fight. He's a disadvantage on everything. He has advantage no. on everything when the Shrezzle Colony is leading. Wins advantage. the debate. He has oh, I love eight it. Eight players of the Shrezzle Colony. He has advantage on things. But not necessarily more of them. If the Shrezzle wins the debate for that next round, he has advantage on everything. If, and if they lose the debate the next round, he has disadvantage on everything. I like that. That's good. Because that changes round to round and the first one's plain. So, okay. So that was four turns. We went back to ten. So let me just see something. So, one is blue. And that's two. Well, don't roll to see who wins. Just go all on one side. Roll your d4 a oh, okay. bunch of times. Two, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. That was five rounds. Okay. So there's going to be a lot of rounds. Which is fine. Um, well, not we necessarily, because we might get out of there before right. that happens. And then we do the debate. After the debate, after the debate, until someone wins. That's really funny. I think that's how you sell this war, is keep having us debate and rolling to see who who goes. That's really funny. Because we're, could, we're already out of the timeline. Yeah, you could, always, you could also... Um, put a bottleneck at the very entrance there and I could just have a lot yeah. in, or just like a big maybe the elder brain is sitting there maybe the mm. maybe the two elder brains are there let's settle this diplomatically right here next to this yeah. random portal and like there's no way you guys would win against two elder brains I'm full health or yeah. mostly yeah mostly full health but I have one spell slot left but two two D uh what is it? 4d8. That's insane. So that's 7, 12, wow, 17, uh, 19 plus 4. So that's 20 damage a turn. You're looking at about 16 damage, maybe 15 damage per turn, I think. Maybe a little less, maybe a little more. Uh, Average. Yeah. But is that is that going to be per person, per, for the group? Or I think that's per person. 
per person yeah that's well i mean depending on what they do on their turn like if someone's going to hide i yeah, think i would think that it's it's per person because you have to you have to you you, you have you your save succeed yeah um but the one last thing i want to do though is every now and then no maybe there doesn't need to be any encounter if it gets slow and like tedious i can always just cut off and you guys have a, a fight with a mind flare um, well i i think everyone is happy to not fight someone right now yeah <laughs> i think we're just like all right let's get out of here run long rest and then re recoup and figure out what's going on and then we came to the elder brain dragon so i think we're from my understanding of what all the other plays are we're terrified of everything and we're just going to want to get the hell out of there i think it's going to be chaotic enough that we're not going to be bogged down with like all right this this guy this group of people are fighting these people you see all these blasts over here these group of people are going to fight back yeah, yeah all right what are you guys doing I'm like oh shit. all right you guys are done all right cutscene. let's go here there's gonna be so much going on it's gonna be hard to not be focused i really like um this idea that's gonna be very funny and jake is fun hilarious so if the blue wins um advantage yeah i love that you have to reveal it by like if jake rolls i'm like oh roll roll that with advantage oh no, no for for this for this round roll with disadvantage so we don't have to necessarily include this in the in the uh, podcast, but it's, it's so I'm so interested in it. It's gonna be hard to leave out. Now let's talk lore real quick of of the dungeon uh, of Agath Doomhand and the Skulls of Power okay. from the campaign we're making. Yeah. So Doomhand has been after this mind flare from the Shrezel Colony because the mind flare currently has that in the timeline had right. that skull in his brain. Doomhand right. took it. Uh, and ripped it out. The skull was just a little item that they put yeah. with power. Anyway, if you guys alter time here, and mm -hmm. the Alpha Colony survives, and the Shrezel Colony doesn't survive, I think if the with the way you so, have it set so up, fun teleportation to a blue brain, like that could happen. We we come out and the the, the Elder Brain there is like, give me the skull. Yeah, <laughs> the, the doors are right. right. <laughs> Shoot, then we gotta run from that mind player or that elder brain. It's like the elder brain's like, ask Loxida about. We, her we being go through flat. the portal. We go through the portal <laughs> where our, our characters are. Time stands still until we resolve the debate to see who comes out at the end. I love it. No matter what right. happens, the debate has to. I, I think if no matter what, we yeah. take if, if we take the skull back. Doomhand's not going to have it. So I think it's gonna you're gonna have that paradoxical time travel paradox of like all of a sudden he looks around, it's like he remembers getting it, he remembers killing the person, the mind flayer, the sage, but he doesn't remember he remembers taking something from the skull but doesn't remember what it is, or what he pulls out of his bag is a piece of skull. Yeah. Uh, he has a rock. He has a rock. You guys or he just has also, a plain blue crystal. You guys also have the ability to convince people that that skull. You have fake blue have skulls. Skulls. Yeah. Well, oh. I do like the idea, though, if it gets down to it, and I think it might uh, last for an hour of getting of getting the the blue skull. Uh, I'm sorry, getting uh, getting them to debate. If it comes down to it. I think we have to kill Aaron. Is <laughs> sorry, guys. You know, uh, Aaron. Aaron talked oh. shit uh, in our group chat about about how he, you know, gets away with a lot of stuff because he's better than the DM, so on and so forth. That uh, playing the game, so now I have to, I have to kill. I don't have to kill him. I'll take an arm, an arm for an arm, Jetlin oh. style. <laughs> a new breed of bat may come flying around in in the Underdark because that's where we're going back to. A new breed of bad attacks us <laughs> as soon as we get back. <laughs> That's very uh, funny. Flex all right, so we create a new uh, a new monster, giant bat. That's so funny, giant bat, giant mind flyer bat. Yeah, I, I wrote down. I oh, think we have this recorded because I wrote down um, Earth is flat, and then I wrote, I wrote gray blue players, and I wrote cutscene. 
we good. Let's see. I and yeah. got it. You you remember it. <laughs> That's oh, well, remember like subscribe, 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 subscribe. Yeah. Um, cool. Uh, I will copy this uh, encounter and somehow I guess I'll post it in the comments. Um, I will make this encounter uh, tomorrow. Mm -hmm during the day and then I will uh, post it in the comments because this is that's nice. pretty cool it's, it's really easy to, to write this down I, I think we, little, we, little, we simplified it a good bit I'll have a little a little background on the on the blue and, and gray uh, mind flares roll your own names because that's fun <laughs> but uh, you can play this encounter um, if, and if it's awesome uh, use it whenever you want we're going to play it on Monday 7 o'clock ish 8 o'clock ish I think around 8 ish because yeah. of our our new uh, edition yeah, West Booter. Coaster. Booter is... Uh, I gotta have two, two of these NPCs make an appearance. Booter has no... Sh his character's pretty damn good. Yeah. Lone Star was a baller. How does he have 18 on his constitution? That's great. Plus four? He... I've never had plus four on anything. He's got <laughs> like... He's a tank, though. That's his thing. Yeah, All you right. had a hard time killing Lone Star. Well, he's higher level than Lone Star was. What do you think next time? We'll, should we talk maybe about the Blue Skull? Maybe we should have one session on some sort of lore. We could do the the lore skulls of the ones that we found. Because we have three skulls yes. that we found. We could do we'll the, the, the lore of the red, the lore of the, the green, the lore of the blue. And then we built the sages. Notes on that. I'll simplify yeah. that. Um, if time. someone were to comment a topic, I would 100% talk about that that's for sure cool uh roll high and subscribe we'll see you next time see you next time this is rena rena rolled low during death saves and didn't get healed by his group don't be a rena roll high and subscribe